Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. For those of you new, I'm Jeanette from Body Sewing and Crafts. In this video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be embroidering the names on some jackets. These jackets are from a club um, from Porch and they already had their um, symbol embroidered on the jackets. Now they want their names underneath the emblem of it. I'm actually going to be embroidering the names and I want you guys to see how clear this looks. Okay, I'm going to be embroidering this with a 65 nine needle and with 60 weight thread. Okay, this came out really nice. Look how crisp and clean. Looks really good. And I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the placement of these names and how I actually do this to make sure that it is exactly where I need it to be. Okay, so let's i have one jacket left okay this was the gray one i have this jacket left right here that i need to embroider and i'm going to show you exactly how i do it so that way you guys can see just in case you have a project similar to this you know exactly what you need to do um what i am going to be doing is i'm going to be using my snowman stickers on the template i do have a video on me testing this method out and it worked out really really well so i'm going to do this and as a matter of fact this is now a method that i am going to be using all the time i mean i think this is so well worth it i mean if you have a brother 1055 or any of the brother 10 needle machines you should have this functionality of using the snowman stickers and i really think this is something that you should really start exploring with because i could really see this you using this a lot okay so let's get down to it now um, what I usually do when I meet with a customer is I always like to print out the template in in brilliance, okay? Now, I'm going to zoom in a little bit just so that you can see what I am talking about, okay? Now, this is an extra step that I do. Some people don't like to do it. I actually do, okay? And there's several reasons why I prefer to do this. First of all, it gives the customer a good visualization, okay? They see it with their own eyes. They get to see what the actual um, picture, whatever it is that you're embroidering, is going to look like, okay? It may not have all the colors. It may not be in thread form, but it gives them a very good idea about the size and how it's actually going to look, okay? And one of the things also is that when you have the template print out, you can actually hand this over to your customer and say, I want you to actually place this on the garment where you want this to be. So that way, if they give you a name or a picture of something, you actually take that and they can place it on a blanket, a jacket, a towel, whatever it is that they want, and they actually put it where they want it to go. So that way, when they walk away and you're putting this on the machine, there is no confusion about where they wanted it or if it's on the wrong place or, you know, whatever, right? So I actually had the customer put down on there where they wanted the name to be on the jacket, okay? He took a ruler, he measured it, and he was like, this is where I wanted to go. So I came out and I said, okay, we're going to tape it down. Now, what I am going to do is, first of all, I'm going to look at it and make sure that it is nice and straight. And it, it is. It's nice and straight. He did a really good job because I was watching him. He was really careful on how he wanted this, this to go down. Sorry, it stepped over my hoops. So what I'm actually going to do is he just put the tape on the top. Okay, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another piece of tape on the actual bottom of the design because I want to secure it really well in place. Okay, I don't want this moving around anywhere. Now, um, let me move this a little bit here. Let me make sure that you are a little bit closer and that you have a better angle of what so that you guys can see exactly what I am doing. Okay, um. In the template, okay, and in videos that you've watched me do before, I really, you know, at first I wasn't a, a fan. I got to tell you, I wasn't a fan about this because I was like, oh, I'm printing all the time, right? I'm using all my ink on my printer. But I have to tell you, it is really, really beneficial because this template has like a placement, right? It has like the X, all right? So what I am going to do is I'm going to take the snowman sticker, Right, and the snowman sticker, 
I'm gonna, I want to focus here on the snowman sticker. Here we go. All right, the snowman sticker, focus. If you look at it really closely, you see a line going across and you see it down. Now, this dot right here is the center point, okay, of the snowman sticker. And I'm sorry, I got a new camera. I'm trying to get this to focus. So if you notice this dot right here, and it goes out of focus again. Oh my goodness, sorry guys. All right, so anyway, the second dot that you see on there, <laughs> that's the center point. So this is what I usually do with this. I take this and I fold it in half. I already know that you can see the line, it's very faint, but you can kind of tell that that is the center. So what I do is I align it directly above the line from my template to the sticker and then I just push it down and then right there I know I have this correctly and it did not work as well as I thought it was going to hold on let me try to do it this way then I don't think I folded it right you gotta make sure that you fold it right you gotta have line by line by line yep and I moved it a little bit there you go that's why Okay, so now I got that correct, and now I got this correct here. Okay, it's really important that you have the snowman sticker well in line with the angles of the of the um, of the template. If you are in doubt, get a ruler, which is what I'm looking for right now. I'm going to pull a ruler out. And I'm going to make sure that the lines, and they are, yep, they look good. They look good. I'm good. All right. So let me, let me bring this up so that you can take a look and you can see exactly what I just did. Okay. So as you can see, I put the snowman sticker right on top. So this is good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scan this in the machine. Before I, first, I have to hoop it, all right? So let me move the camera down a little bit so that you guys can see exactly how I hoop this. And I move this back a little bit. And what I do, okay. Now, the hooping... I don't have to be so precise because remember, I'm going to be using the scanning capability. I'm also going to be using the snowman. So the snowman is going to take care of the placement for me. My goal is to make sure that I just have the area that I'm going to embroider neatly hooped. Okay? So I'm going to go get two sheets of cutaway stabilizer. Okay, I always use cutaway stabilizer on clothes. Anything that you know is going to be washed a lot, you want to make sure you use cutaway. Okay? There you go. So I got my stabilizer here. I'm going to open my jacket. Okay. This is the top of my hoop. Put this here. I'll grab it later. Okay, let me get this away. I always like to use an angle when I'm keeping the jackets. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up, and I'm just going to make sure that I place the area that I'm embroidering in the hoop. Okay? All right, now I'm going to hoop it. Now, some of you guys might be saying, hey, you didn't make sure it was straight or anything like that. I don't have to because, remember, I'm scanning, so I'm good. All right, there we go. So make sure it's hooped well. And it is. It's good. Okay. Lift this up. Okay. See how it's all in there? Okay, it's all going to scan, so I'm, I'm okay. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the machine, and I'll show you how I'm going to set that up. Okay, guys, so I am here at the machine. I had already embroidered one name, so I'm going to take this out of here, okay? And i got to pick up the other name. And here it is. Set. I'm going to change the color to this. Okay. Hit. Um, now I'm going to scan it. Let me hoop it in now. Okay. 
I'm gonna put let me see if I can put this back here I'm gonna hoop this in here okay cool all I did was I pulled up the the design you know on the file on my machine okay but I'm gonna show you exactly step by step now how I do this I just want to make sure that I have this hoop correctly always check under your arm you want you don't want to make sure that you're not embroidering the jacket to the front and stuff a lot of people make that mistake and I don't like things dragging so I always kind of like push it in here so that way there's less weight double check everything I'm good all right so now we're going to focus on the screen because I want you guys to see exactly what I touch and everything okay so here we are at the screen okay and I know there's a little glare here we go there you go got rid of the glare a little bit okay cool all right now the first thing I'm going to do all right is, as you can see I have everything in here okay I want to scan this and then I need the snowman sticker to be red so let's go over to this computer over here okay now you know right here okay and I'm gonna push this up a little bit all right right here you see that you have like a little camera button so you're gonna click on that and then you're gonna hit okay now when you hit okay it says recognizing and this is what it's doing it is scanning your whole area okay there you go so as you can see right here you're gonna see it has everything in there okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this button right here that says end edit okay I hit that when you hit that the, the button embroidery hits but you don't want to do that what you want to do is you want to click on this little snowman right here that's where you're gonna get the button okay and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on that and it's going to revert to a okay to revert to the original position or the angle okay all right so here it is it's going to be at the golden now the center of my snowman is right there in the middle so this is what I want okay I don't want to change any of this okay so I'm gonna hit okay and then I'm gonna hit okay again now what this is going to do it says recognizing okay so it's actually going to look see it's gonna look for that little snowman and it's gonna recognize it okay see how it's doing and then it says remove the embroidery positioning sticker and then hit okay so then right here I'm gonna hit okay okay so it is ready to embroider okay because it, it touched up on that that snowman sticker and everything so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this snowman sticker because now I don't already I don't need this because I know that it's gonna embroider exactly where that item was okay it repositioned and everything now I'm going to hit embroider okay okay and I want you to know also I just switched you I know you heard me uh, little buttons and stuff like that it was trying to pull needle number 10 I needed to pull needle number one so all I did was I just clicked this button so I could switch these two needles as you can see needle number one is now going to embroider I have it at 600 stitches per minute so whenever I am doing small fonts I do not like to rush my machine at all okay I I'm first of all I'm just not I don't why rush right you know enjoy the process so I have needle number one which is 60 weight thread needle number one is also a 65 9 size needle and I also slow down my machine at 600 stitches per minute so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start embroidering okay and this is going to be awesome
Okay, this is done. And let's take it out. Let's take a look at it. And you're going to see that it came out really, really nice. So if you look at it right there, it looks like, oh, you, you hooped it kind of crooked and stuff. But let's take a look at it because remember, I did the snowman, right? So the snowman positioned everything correctly. So now I'm going to take this out. So we can look at it in, in its entirety. Okay. And of course, you know, I have to cut the inside. Let me cut the inside while I'm here. And then I'll tell the gentleman that his jackets are good to go. See, he, had, he just had two for now. I have a feeling that I'll probably end up with more later, which is fine. Um, This snowman sticker, I love it because it really helps you to really position things correctly and you don't have any issues. So, let me put my jacket. Oh, having trouble with the zipper here. Let me try to put it in here. There you go. There you go. All right. All right. So, I'm going to lay it on here. Is this sticker and I just have to clean it up a little bit but um here you go what do you think looks good huh all right guys so this is perfect so I just have to clean up some of the jump stitches on here but it looks really good looks straight exactly where I needed it to go so guys Hope you liked this video, and if you did, give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I like to always videotape all the pro uh, customer projects that I work on, um, you know, and um, show you guys how I do the different types of embroidery. And um, as you can see, this came out really, really nice. I'm very happy, and I know the customer is going to be happy as well. So I will see you guys later, and hope you guys can join me on Friday evenings at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time for Embroidery Happy Hour. So please take care, have fun, enjoy those machines, happy sewing, and happy embroidery. Bye.